What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. My name is Damon Warren, and this is Day One Adventures. And today, we are up in Philly, getting ready to hit Fan Expo 2024. Parked at a different garage today. This one's right off of Broad Street. It's about a block away from where I normally park. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like over there. So over there, that's the, the garage I normally park at right there. That's a good one on the weekends, no matter what. Um, this one I got through Spot Hero. So that's good. That's the Comcast building right there. And that's the garage. And right over this way, that's where Broad Street is. So you're about three blocks away from the convention center. One of the things about this one is you make the uh, reservation through Spot Hero. But you're right on Broad Street, so the difference in the space, it's about a block, about the same. Cost is about the same. This one you have to go through Spot Hero. That's what I heard, that's what I did, and that's the price I got. So it puts you out right here at Broad Street, Broad Street and Vine. Entrance to the garage is right down that way. So you will be coming down, the best way to get to it is to come down Broad Street, maybe from Calla Hill or something, and then make the turn into the garage. They do have parking up, up on the top there. It's exposed, it's got a nice view of City Hall and of the bridge. So it's a pretty good place to park. I, I probably would suggest it just so you, it's right off the express, off the, um, off of Broad Street. Now, as far as getting to it, it was a little tricky. I do prefer parking at the other one as far as access, because when I'm driving in, I just get off the Vine Street Expressway and I'm right there at the garage. This one, you gotta kinda go around the block to get to. That's the garage right there. So you come down Broad Street, and then you pull in. It's almost like a little alleyway right there. And that's where the entrance to the garage is. So you'll be coming that way, and then City Hall's right there. And you'll see the big mural right there. And the convention center is on that next block with the overhang. So you're really close, you can see everything. Where are you getting to? So about a block away from where you park at is the 7-Eleven. So you can stop in there and get some snacks or come out from the convention center and pick up some snacks. That's a good thing to know. Watch out for the other garages because some of these garages, you, you'll park in them and the sign will say one thing and it's actually going to be almost triple what it is. Um, so I definitely su suggest decide where you're going to park before you show up. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so here we go at the prop checks. Get your props checked in. If it looks dangerous or it looks like it can hurt somebody, they're going to check it, they're going to tag it. Leave your katanas at home, leave your swords at home, leave your sides at home. <laughs> Badge activation. So we got to scan it. Or
Okay, let's see. So, all right. I think I gotta get scanned in here. Oh, they don't do that. Okay, okay. thank you. All right. So this is your VIP, your ultimate lounge. Spend a couple extra bucks, you get the the ultimate lounge. Here's the show floor right here. Now the elevators are supposed to be for accessibility and strollers, so you know. So here's the eating option. They got this newly branded, the exchange here. Let's see if I can get in here and just take a look at the menu. So that's the menu right there. And you pretty much go through the line and get your sandwiches. Everything's pre-made and everything. You can just walk straight in through and, get, and grab it. And the line's moving pretty fast, so it's uh. Yeah, and they even say I have some fresh fruit options right here. Chips. Everything. Got your gate area, got your water. Alright, so you come out here, you walk down this hallway, you got some seats here. Everybody's kind of chilling in this area. And then you come down here, and this is the food. Yeah, so this is new for this year. What else is kind of cool about this over, in, over this way, it's a little bit more chill. You got seats, you're not on the main floor with all the reverb and everything. Yeah, this is definitely, yeah, all right. Everybody's down down in this area congregating. Yeah, it's cool. It's like a it's like a little place to let off, let loose. Yeah. And here you go. You got some food options. This place right here, Philly Eats. And get the time in there. So they're from. Well, today was two to eight. Um, um, yeah, they're not, they didn't put the time up for tomorrow. I imagine they're going to close at 8, but who knows what time they're going to open. So there's the menu right there. You got some chips, hot dogs, 7 bucks for a hot dog. Snack box is 8. Hoagies is 12. Beverage, water starts at 5. Soda is 6. Iced tea, smart water is 6. So you got that right there. And you got Liberty Bell snacks down this way. And they got some of that lemonade, regular or strawberry. So there you go. Grilled cheese, 12 bucks. Popcorn, eight. Hot dogs is eight. They got some dips. Cotton candy. All right. It's a little charging station over that way. Hey, look, they put some extension cords right there. All right, let's go downstairs and see what we got going on downstairs today. So this is the family room here. So this is family activities. I think they just made some slime. So this is really cool. I think this is actually an addition for this year also. So they have some family activities that you can do. Different options. Got 
So one of the good things about this is it's not just the it's not just the main area upstairs with the big floor and everybody selling anything. This is really an expo. So down here they have the VIP lounges. They have different lounges for ultimate members, VIP members. There's meeting rooms. There'll be different meetings, different people. You can actually set um, set up a panel. Let's say one of your passions is, uh, there's actually one on social media. So you can go to that panel and it, it'll help you with social media, costumes and combat, how to do your cosplay, how to hook that up and everything. And there's a Japanese arcade. So there's a lot of chill options here this year. There's not everybody has to be up on the one floor. The schedules are out there. Make sure you get the app though. If you're coming, get the app. That's first thing. Get the app. And what I do is I go down the app and mark off everything that I want to do. Then that way I can make sure that I make it to it. And the app will let you set if you want a 15 minute reminder. 10 minute reminder or no reminder so that's good to know so if you want to talk to people doing cosplay you want to talk to people doing uh, voiceovers all that stuff you can set that up and then you can just you know do the different things so we got a maid cafe this is new let's see we got a, uh, so this is the maid cafe. So look at that. If you have ever prayed, if you like making love at midnight. So you got you got the maid cafe right there. Some accessibility. Is uh one of the other meeting rooms right here. There you go. They're having a little chat in there. Nice and focused, right there. And probably one of my favorites. Show you the uh, Japanese arcade. So they started this like last year. And it's a traveling arcade, check this out. So it's a traveling arcade in AD Detroit, Michigan, follow them, Psychic Drive. So here we go. Let's take a look at what they got going on in here. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Oh, look at that. You won't see that game anywhere else. All right. Excuse me. Thank you. Then look, they got the drums right here. They got some serious dance, dance revolution going on. Extreme. Somebody's about to get smoked.
So the parking garage, since I did it on uh, Spot Hero, I have until 10 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock now. It would have been $18. Since I did Spot Hero, I paid $13. So I saved about $5 by using Spot Hero. Location is good. I like it. So you can park at this one or the other one. This one's a little bit more tricky to get into because it's right off Broad Street. You got to turn on, I believe it's Wood Street, which is kind of like a weird street. Or you can get right off the Vine Street and park in that one. You don't need to go through um, Spot Hero or anything. That's their everyday price. 